What's up everyone? Phil here. Welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a classic classical piece. We're going to be taking a look at the Hungarian dance by Brahms. We're going to be looking at the first section of our advanced level arrangement, okay? That one sounds like this. Two, set, go. All right, this is gonna be a fun one. And as you can see, this one's gonna be just for you advanced players out there. There's a lot of fast stuff going on, a lot of stuff in both hands, but I'm gonna break it down for you. We're gonna get started with the right hand first. Time signature here is two four, two beats per measure, and the quarter note gets one beat. Our key signature here is zero sharps and zero flats. That tells us we're in the key of C major or A minor. And here it happens to be A minor. All right, so we're gonna start with our thumb on an E, just above middle C. We're gonna outline this A minor chord. Then we see a G sharp, and back to A. Next phrase. Next line down, third finger over. Three, two, three, two, two, five, one. Let's try that again. It's important that you walk down with three and two. Okay, so we're gonna go. We find ourselves in this A minor position. All right, next we go back up, thumb on E again. We're gonna do a similar A minor triad outlining. But instead of going to C, we're gonna go all the way up to E again. Okay, and then that's how we finish that phrase. B. C, D, C, with our thumb coming under to that final C. And if you look ahead, you can see in the next line down, we do that so that we can bring our hand position up and our two finger can play this high F. And this is a really cool pattern here. I'll play it one time fast and then I'll break it down. All right, one more time. So, two finger on F, walking up, back down to F. That little melodic phrase gets repeated a few times and planed down diatonically. Then it goes down, then again, and again. See that pattern, how it repeats as it goes down? That's what we're aiming for here. But there's a certain trick to the fingering here that I want to call out. So we start with two, three, four, two. We don't have to move yet. One. Now we move. We skip two. Three, four. Then two plays that E. Thumb plays D. We start the pattern over again, but we're going to skip two. Okay. Three, four. Then two plays the note that your thumb just played, which is D. Then keep the pattern going. You could even go all the way down the keyboard like that. So you could go one, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, one, three, four, two. And that would be great practice for finger strength, but also to get this passage down. Because when we do this at full speed, it is very fast. Okay, so there's that. Now let's keep moving. We go, uh, next measure, we, we break up the pattern a bit. We go D, C, C, B, B, E, A. And we've already seen that, haven't we? I believe it's in measure seven of this section. We do three, two, three, two, two. And then reach up the octave to the high A. And then we just have an eighth rest. We need to quickly move to get into position for our next phrase. So we play one, two, rest. 
we're back down here. Just like the beginning. Three, two, three, two, two, five, one. Now here things get a bit different. Again, we're embellishing on this A minor harmony outline. First we did this, then we did. Now here, we're gonna go. I love that little device. Still the same four notes, well, same three notes. Same pattern from before, but this time we're gonna go and then start back over. Right? Again, thumb on C here to reach up to our descending riff. Once again, we're gonna play it the same way we did before. Two, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, one, three, four, two, three, two, three, two, two, five, one, and a high octave A. Let's go ahead and try to play this with our tempo. We're going to do it slowly to start, and then once we can do it there, we'll speed up our timing to full speed. All right, let's try it. Two, set, go. Excellent work. So please take your time with that slow speed. But when you're ready, let's try to speed it up. Two, set, go. there we have it, 100% for our right hand part. That's not easy, right? I already told you, this is an advanced level tutorial. This is showcasing our advanced level arrangement. But we also do have this song and many other classical pieces in the app at reduced difficulty levels. That's right, we have Hungarian dance, also in an intermediate level and a rookie level version as well. Check out the app if you haven't already. We're doing a free trial, which you can learn more about by tapping this card right here that just popped up. 30 day free trial, no strings attached, no payment up front. The app grades you as you play, so in some ways it's better than having a teacher in the room with you, but you can clock in whenever you want. Middle of the night, on a weekend, your teacher doesn't have to be there. The interactive app is awesome, and we've got stuff from all genres. I hope you guys will check out that free trial. You can finish this song there. But for now, let's get back to this section, and we're gonna talk about the left hand now. This does not get any easier, so brace yourselves and make sure you're nice and warmed up. So, before we get into any specific note or rhythm, I just wanna talk about the general things that we can see about this section as a whole. Okay, so for the most part, we can see an eighth note pattern in the left hand. One and two and one and two and. That's the kind of rhythm we're going to have. And the, the pattern that we're going to use to outline the harmonies looks a little something like this. One and two and one and two and one and two and. and then it changes, all right? But that's the rhythmic pattern. I want you to get used to this sort of octave position and we're gonna play middle, high, low, high. That's a very repetitive pattern, and even when the chord changes, we're still gonna pretty much be playing that same pattern. So let me walk you through the first section here and show you what I mean. First chord is gonna be A minor, which looks like that. But we are gonna actually open it up so that the root is in the middle, the fifth is on top, and we have a low fifth down here. 
So if we do that middle, high, low, high pattern, that's what we get. One and two and one and two and. Now the third measure, this changes. We're now going to stretch our position even wider than an octave. For those who cannot reach this interval of a D to an F, that's okay. You don't have to play them at the same time. Okay, instead what you're going to want to do is really utilize this toggling, this sort of turning of your wrist as you go. So in measure three, the notes we're going to play are A, F, D, F. If I can reach this all together, then this is easy for me. But if you can't reach it, you can still play them like this. A, reach up to F, reach down to D, reach up to F. And if that's too tricky to practice right away, just go between the D and the F. And then start to incorporate that A. I'm exaggerating a bit, but notice you don't have to be in that wide position to play these notes. So if you have a smaller hand, that's okay. If you can reach that, you might as well. So we go from here to here. That's measure three, just one time. One and two and. Then we're right back to the A minor. A, E, E, E. Okay, then we right again go back to this. This is a D minor one. Then we're right back to this A. So we're toggling back and forth between this shape and this shape. Now, next line down, measure seven, we see this change a bit. Instead of an A in the middle, we now have a G sharp. G sharp in the middle, still E's on the octaves. So then we're back to A. All right, so then that, that's basically it, right? We got one other section here in the left hand, but once you can do that, then you, you're more than halfway done with this section, okay? So let's skip ahead now to measure 13. We're gonna go, we're gonna jump all the way up to A, and then C and F. Now we're gonna walk that pattern down. A, C and F, G, B and E, F, A and D, E, and then here it changes a bit. We're gonna play this A minor chord. So again, we're down here, we jump up, A. Practice that a few times. That's how we end it. Okay, so we jump up, A, C and F, G, B and E, F, A and D, E, A and C, E, G sharp and B, twice, and then thumb on A, and then octave A's, and then a rest. So guys, I think that's everything. The second half basically just repeats what the first half did. So what I'd like to do now is cue up our slow tempo backing track and try to play this along. Two, set, go. Way to go, that's it. Now let's go ahead and speed this thing up to full tempo. Two, set, go.
Wow, all right, so now we are very warmed up. Right hands down, left hands down. All we need to do is put these hands together. I cannot tell you this enough. You gotta start slow and you gotta be patient. But when you feel like you can put these hands together, start to do it out of time, right? Pause this video, just try it out of time. And then when that feels good, pick it back up. We'll try to go slow tempo together. And then when that feels good, pick it back up again. We'll go to full speed together and we'll wrap up, okay? Let's go ahead and do it now. Hands together, Hungarian dance. Two, set, go. All right, everyone, final step here is to speed this thing up to full tempo. Let's go ahead and try it. Two, set, go. Wow, man, that was a tour de force. That was a workout. Brahms, if you're watching, hit me with a thumbs up. Everyone else, if you dug the lesson, let me know. If you didn't love it, let me know that too. Tell me how you think I can make these better for you. I'm Phil, thanks so much for watching Playground Sessions. I'll see you guys on the next lesson video. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.